Good, in good evening, everyone, and welcome to Facebook Live. Uh, my name is Matthew Luce, a field signature artist for Cody Professional Beauty. Very excited to be here today to share with you some wonderful styling techniques, as well as just a little bit of knowledge. So um, today, with our lovely model Bailey here, um, we started with by prepping her with our Sebastian preset and reset. So what that did is really gave her a nice foundation for me to work with. Um, it actually has a bit of a, like a clarifying feel to it. She came in and she was a little bit oily, so we decided to use our preset reset. It also builds texture, so we start by building texture right at the basin. Then for her blow dry, I layered in Potion 9, which is a leave-in styling treatment. Um, because she has quite long hair and it does have um, you know lightener or color on it, I wanted to make sure that we're putting some moisture back into the hair as well. I then went in with our Dark Oil by Sebastian, uh, just a few pumps of that to continue to build um, some moisture without sacrificing any kind of volume. And then lastly, at her root area, I decided to go in with our uh, Texture Maker. This really gives you a little bit of uh, grit at the root and just a little bit of volume. So really what the inspiration behind this was, was I took some inspiration from what I've been seeing on you know, New York Fashion Week and Fashion Weeks around the world. I wanted to create something that feels a little bit lived in, but really amp it up by utilizing some really, really cool accessories that I brought with me today. So you can kind of see here at my station here, I have all these like cool little accessories that, you know, we can go in and um, really just amp up a style. It's a really easy way to take something um, from behind the chair and, you know, we are he heading into the holiday season. So it's a really, really cool way to just give it just a little bit more pizzazz. So now let's talk about some styling here. So I am going to be using our GHD Platinum Plus Styler. This tool is phenomenal. So notice I didn't call it just a flat iron. It actually has um, more kind of uses than just being a flat iron. You are able to really, really do a lot with it. So with Bailey here, we're going to do what we call a push down curl. So I'm going to make sure I get my section right here. Um, and this is a really, really quick, easy way for me to just create a very soft, lived in style. So I'm just going to take about you know an inch wide section and then subdivide that further in about an inch. Um, I'm going to take my GHD Platinum Plus styler and I'm going to actually place it in the hair vertically with, with the tip pointing down. Um, I want to make sure that I'm alternating from left to right to really create nice texture in the hair. So you see when I place this in and rotate it, I'm going to use a push down motion. And I chose the Platinum Plus because of the length of the hair and the color of her hair. Um, it has ultra zone with predictive technology. Um, and that really ensures that I'm only getting the hair to 365 degrees. And you can see how beautiful of like a nice soft uh, curl or wave that we get by utilizing this technique. So I went forward with that one. Now I'm going to rotate away from the face. So I want to make sure that I'm rotating each way to really create texture. So again, placing my styler down, rotating it one turn, and then just gently pushing down the hair shaft. So if I go straight down with this, with very, very little elevation, I get a really nice, long, skinny curl. But if I want to get have a curl that has maybe a little bit more volume to it, I'm just going to slightly add a little bit more elevation. So again, placing my styler straight down vertically, rotating one full turn. And now I'm going to pull slightly out towards me at almost like a 45 to 90 degree angle. So the more I elevate it, the more curl or turn I get. And you'll see that it has just more curl than our push down curl. Cool, so I'm just going to continue alternating or rotating left to right, away from the face or towards the face. So that one I turned away, so I'm going to make sure that this one goes towards the face. 
So again, I'm gonna go out a little bit more of that 45 just for kind of continuity. And you can see I'm just moving very, very slowly. I really want to ensure that this styler gets that hair to that optimal 365 degree temperature, which we call the glass transition phase. And this is where you know, we're not getting damage, but we're ensuring we have enough heat on the hair to make sure that that style lasts. And just because of these plates on the uh, Platinum Plus Styler, it just glides so easily through the hair. And I can truly style in one stroke. So I just love how quick this technique is. It's a really, really easy way to create very soft waves in just a really short amount of time. Again, rotating one full turn pulling down anywhere between zero to 45 degrees. Gorgeous, right? Now I'm gonna drop down another section here. And really, <clears throat> I like to work from bottom to top, it just makes sense. And I, oh, I like to start in the back and then work towards the face. So again, we're going to take a very, very small section and start. I'll start away from the face this time. And notice that I can use both hands with this because of the design of this styler. Um, you have great, great like flexibility with it. Um, it's really easy to hold and rotate because of that unique wishbone hinge and this awesome swivel cord. Hey, Matthew, we have a question sure. from Sergio. Can you rotate to ensure an actual curl? Rotate, can I rotate to ensure, ensure an actual curl? Like maybe more of a rounded classic curl. Yeah, so if you, you it, depending on if you place that, the styler in vertically versus horizontally. If I go in horizontally and rotate 360 degrees and pull straight out, then I'm going to get much more of a stronger curl return. Hope that answered your question. Thank you. So for this look, I really wanted to keep it a lot softer, though. So that's why I'm using more of a push down curl. Beautiful. That's really what I like to see, just like a nice, long, elongated curl pattern. Next section here, I'm gonna go away. Again, pushing down. Get very, very smooth and consistent heat. Beautiful, her color is so perfect for this. It really, truly great, creates a lot of texture and a lot of movement. Matthew? Yes. We have a question from Rana. Okay. Um, does it have a swivel cord? And also, Jesse said it looks very comfortable in your hand. Yeah, so it does have a swivel cord, and I'll show you right here after this curl. So you can see that I can, I'm able to really move this styler in so many different directions. So it rotates very easily. Um, you're never going to get tangled. And because of the design of this wishbone hinge, too, um, those plates align perfectly. And what's the highest temperature it can go up to? So it truly, uh, because of the ultra zone and predictive technology, it really only heats that hair up to 365 degrees. You'll see that it doesn't have a thermostat on there. So you just turn it on, and it, it automatically will adjust the heat depending on the density of the hair, the, the thickness of the section, um, to truly ensure that we're not damaging hair, but we're getting enough heat to, to style the hair. Hope that answered your question. You can see how just easy this, this styler moves throughout the hair. Um, before I uh, you know, started using the styler on her hair, I did go in with a little bit of uh, Sebastian Trillian. Um, I think it's always smart to, to use a thermal protector. Um, and I love that one because it has a credible shine to it. It smells really good. 
Cool. Nice. So we've completed the back here. I'm going to spin Bailey around and start working on our front section. So again, make sure we just work in horizontal sections about an inch wide. going to control those ends nice and clean. So I'll subdivide this right into two. So I want to make sure that I'm taking about inch by inch wide sections. And then I'm going to work from the parting towards her face. So I want to make sure that a lot of the, the, the curl movement around the face goes away from the face. I find that that looks a lot more modern than it uh, going towards the face. So this one I want to make sure that I rotate towards the face and then again push down. You can see how quick and Matthew, nice. we have another question. Yeah. Do you brick lay or use diagonal back and forward to not see lines? You know, either or. Because like her hair is already dry, I find that like I'm not really going to get a lot of section marks. So you can go in at a diagonal. Um, that's just personal preference. I find, you know, I work nice and easy in horizontal sections. I can brick lay this. That will help cover up lines. So again, I want to make sure now that I'm like working towards the face, I don't want to start that, that wave pattern too high. So for her, I'm going to start a little bit towards the jawline. And you can see if it gets a little too tight, I can just tap the Platinum Plus, and that'll just like soften up that wave. So now it matches everything a little better. OK, just working up the head here. Matthew, can you touch on the directions that you're going in? We have a question from Nicole Sledge about um, alternating directions. Yeah, so when you alternate directions, it truly creates a lot more texture. So if I were just working in all the same direction, that's going to create more form in the hair. So more of like a, a classic Hollywood wave. Um, whereas if I alternate from front to back, left, you know, away from the face or towards the face, I get a lot more texture versus form. So again, I'm going to start my rotation a little bit lower as I start working towards her face. And then I can always come through and just soften that up a little bit. But I like that, that amount of curl return. So this one, I'll make sure that I go towards the face here. Nice and easy. Come in and just pat it down a little bit. Keep it nice and soft. So she does have a fairly dense amount of hair, so bear with me here. Matthew, we have a question about the plates. Sure. Are they interchangeable? In what sense? So the question is, are they uh, interchangeable? They're actually just a precision milled ceramic coating. So you can see. Um, how easily they glide through the hair. Hope that answered your question. So I would say no, that they're not interchangeable. These plates stay on the tool. So again, coming in at a vertical here, I'm going to start my rotation a little bit lower as I work towards her face. And how is this on textured hair? On textured hair, I would say it works great. Um, it's all about the speed that you use this tool. So um, we do claim one, stro one stroke styling. So it's really about you know, not going through the hair too fast. You really want to make sure that you get the right amount of heat on the hair. And I do that by just taking it nice and slow. Because of the ultra zone and predictive technology, it's checking the temp temperature up to 250 times a second. Nice. Just patting some of those ridges down to, to create a softer wave. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. A couple more sections here. So everything that I'm using today, you can actually purchase at Marlowe Beauty. I really made sure that I'm only using our liquid tools and stylers that you're able to purchase. Yeah, if you want to check out the before picture, you can throw it up there. I mean, she came in like so beautiful already. I really don't, didn't have to do too much. <laughs> She's going to look even better after today, though. Boom. So pretty. You can see I'm really starting that wave pattern right at the apple of her cheek. I think that's just going to really give her a really beautiful face shape. OK. So this one will go towards the face. Again, starting a little bit lower as we work up towards the top of the head and towards the face here. Nice. OK, again, just so if anybody's joined, I'll walk you through um, my, the push down curl technique that I'm doing. So I'm using the Platinum Plus Styler, Styler by GHD. I'm placing my styler in vertically and rotating it one full turn, and then just pushing down to create a much more elongated curl pattern. And just making sure that I'm nice, moving nice and slow. You can see that that gives a nice skinny curl. Okay, Matthew, can you talk a little bit about um, why heat temperature is so important for long-lasting curls? like going too high or too low and how that affects yeah, so the if result? You, if you get too low with the temperature, your style is not going to last. If you go over what we call 365 degrees, it's going to damage the hair. So, you know, just think if you did, you know, spent three or four hours coloring hair and then you go in with 450 plus degrees, you're really damaging the hair, first of all, as well as potentially fading your color work. So by you know, using optimal temperature, 365 degrees, it really ensures that you're protecting your color investment. So not only as a stylist, I don't want to spend you know, three hours on someone's hair and then have them go home and just torch it right, and damage my color work. Um, but the consumer as well, I think, is important to, to really protect their investment. They're the ones that are spending you know, X amount of dollars uh, in their color, and uh, if they go and use any any heat above 365, you're you're causing permanent damage. Nice. So um, one thing that's important too is to truly just let this cool down, right? So um, if again I want to like soften up some of these these curls, I can just go right in and just pat them down with the styler. Okay, I'm going to spin Bailey around and finish up on this side here. So, and I chose a, a side part because when we go in and finish the waves, I'm going to go in with uh, my accessories and create something that's pulled back and really start placing in some really cool pieces to just amp this up a little bit. So here we go. Again, subdivide. So to ensure that a lot of the hairline pieces go away from the face, I'll start this one to rotate it towards the face. So look how easy it is to move this tool. And there's so many different variations you can do with the, the Platinum Plus Styler. I can, again, Use it horizontally and rotate it 360 degrees and pull straight out. The, the higher you pull it, the more curl return or the, the tighter your curl is going to be. The more you push down, the more um, softer that, that curl will be. So again, just rotating. Cool. 
Cool. Beautiful. Okay. Make sure that I'm off the section. <clears throat> what are we thinking so far? It's looking really, really pretty to me. Can't wait to get some of these accessories in here. So just a couple more sections. Again, I want to make sure that these stay away from the face, and I'm starting a little bit more at the apple of the cheek. Cool. This one's going towards the face here. So I definitely like to use both hands when I'm using this styler. Um, you really have to be quite ambidextrous, but it just gives me nice control. And you can see I'm like barely holding it. And it just glides right through the hair there. Matthew, could you refresh us on how her hair was prepped? Yeah, so um, I started with our preset and reset shampoo and conditioner. Um, she has finer hair, and she was a little, a little bit oily when she came in, and I wanted a really nice foundation. So that's why I chose our preset and reset. Um, it does, you know, clarify a little bit as well as build texture at the at the basin. Then for her blow dry, I started with Potion Nine and layered that into the hair. Um, that's our leave-in styling treatment. It does have nine botanical oils in there to really add some moisture and hydration into the hair. Um, and then I went in with our dark oil um, just to add a little bit of weight to the hair without compromising any volume. That's what I really love about dark oil um, is you can use quite a bit of it and it doesn't doesn't sacrifice volume, but it does give a nice um, kind of feel to the hair and a little bit of weight to the hair. Okay, so I have her prepped, and now let's go in and do a little bit of styling here. So I am going to use the GHD uh, styling brush, and I'm just going to start working this away from her face. So I'm not going to rake everything out yet. I just want to start kind of creating getting that hair to move away from the face. And now I'm using our uh, Sebastian Zero Gravity Spray. And that's just going to give me a really nice lightweight control. Awesome here. Maybe just a little bit more. And I really feel like you can't use too much of the Zero Gravity Spray. It's really good. Uh, a oh, really good working spray. I love it for session work uh, behind the chair. Really, it is one of my go-to sprays. Cool. So now we have a nice little bit of control here. And let's see. I'll pick out my first accessory. I'm going to use this cool little pearl one here. I'm just going to get the right angle here and just go right behind the ear and then just secure it. Gorgeous, right? With her color, that just looks super, super cool. Now we'll go in with just some smaller pieces just to accentuate and add some more. So come in here, just get the right angle on here. Just pop it in. Yeah. And that's what our tail comb is for, is just to really kind of start pulling out some of these hairs. Spread that out a little bit. Cool. Get some more spray in here. I don't want something like too, too tight. I want to make sure that it keeps it really nice and light and airy. All about that texture. So let's go in with another one here. We'll pop one in. Let's see. Come in right underneath it. You just got to manipulate these a little bit. There we go. Cool. Again, grab my tail comb. Make sure that hair gets spread out there. Cool. So 
sweet. Again, working with my Shaper Zero Gravity Spray, which is a really nice lightweight uh, working spray. So now to come in here and just really finish this off, I do want to create some more texture. So I'm going to use dry clean only before I go in and start breaking this up. So I can go in with my hands and just really, really start lightly raking through. And I don't want this to look super, super tight. I want it to feel like, you know, almost like she did it herself. What do you think? Looking good, right? So just going through, layering with the dry clean only. And I really just need to use my hands. And the more I kind of move this, the more soft it's going to get. work through you know and if you need to go back through and touch up pieces that's totally great okay but I'm thinking it's looking really really nice let's start working towards the face here just opening it up You're getting lots of compliments, Matthew. Oh, Everybody cool. really loves it. Nice. Looks great. Super soft, super just really almost looks like she did it herself, you know? Um, but this is something that's really cool for not only, uh, you know, the salon, but maybe they're going out. Holiday season's right around the corner here. So it's a really cool way to just, you know, quick styling. We start spinning around, yeah, looking great. Let's pull a little bit of this in the front here. Just loving this over accessorized feel to it with just really, really soft push down curls. Yeah, digging it. Cool, let's go ahead and have Bailey stand up here for us. And then come behind here. And this is our finished look here. What do you think? Gorgeous, right? I'll have you spin. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you so much, Thank Bailey. You. All right. I'm going to go ahead and bring Terry up now. All right. So um, here's our lovely model, Terry. Um, what I really wanted to showcase today is something that just a little bit more than just putting some product in the hair. I wanted to create something, to me, I've been really inspired by, you know, the 1960s mod um, UK look. So I wanted to do something that's quite fringy, but still just really, really soft. So to prep him, I did use our preset and reset. I find that it just cleanses the hair really nicely, and it also builds up a wonderful texture in the hair to start with. And then I went in with our Seb Man, the cooler. This is a leave-in hair tonic. Um, it creates a little bit of texture in the hair. It also has a really nice, like, soothing feel on the scalp. And we just let that air dry into the hair. So you can see I started just a little bit of this technique, um, creating S-waves in the hair. And this takes no time. I'm going to use the GHD half-inch uh, styler here. So again, we're still, you'll still notice that there's no thermostat on here. It's truly just going to get the hair to 365 degrees. I'm going to come in. And I've already done a few of these little pleats or S waves. So what you'll, what you'll see is I can just keep this fairly organic. And I want to just start bending the hair and just tapping my styler on it. And I chose the little one because his hair is fairly short. I just needed something a little bit smaller to get in there. And you'll see that it's not really creating like a curl or a ton of volume, but it just gives me like a really interesting texture to the hair. So because I did that one toward like to the right, I want to alternate. So I'm actually going to push this one to the left here. And just tap, tap, tap. So I want to make sure that this stays fairly flat to the head here. So then we'll take another section and just start working in about, again, like one inch sections as we work from the front towards the back here. Okay, pull this towards the front. 
Again, we're doing um, more of like an S wave here. So starting in one direction, just tapping, and then creating very soft waves. So super, super easy to do, but really just like adds a little bit more than just, just putting product in and either diffusing it or blow drying it into the hair. Just giving a little bit of movement. I'm gonna have you look towards me a little bit. There you go, thank you. So again, I'm pushing to one direction and tapping. And again, because we use that 365 degree temperature, I can tap on this a little bit without worrying about any damage. But I love just that soft little bend you get into the hair, creating just a little bit more of an interesting texture. So that one went to the left. Now I'm gonna move this one to the right. So sometimes it helps to just create like a little U shape. Tap, 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 and then push it into your iron styler. Cool. Just always taking a look at the balance. Always thinking about your, your end result. We always want to make sure that we have a plan and we know what our end result is. So when I'm working behind the chair, I really want to make sure, you know, that I'm not just kind of ad hocing a look. I want to make sure that I know what this end result is going to be. And I actually do a lot of workshopping on doll heads at home um, and really trying this out just to ensure that it's going to like be successful. So again, little S waves here. Yeah. People are really loving seeing the half inch. Can you let everyone know how many sizes of stylers we have? Yeah, we have our half inch, uh, we have our two inch, and we have, you know, um, a variety of these uh, gold and platinum plus. Another really cool thing about these, these stylers too is that they have an automatic shut off. How many times have we walked out of the house and left our styler on and come back and kind of worried about burning up the, the sink? So um, they turn off and go into sleep mode after about 30 minutes of not being used. Another cool feature too is they heat up in 20 seconds, so especially that Platinum Plus. Look at that cool little texture we're getting, right? And it doesn't like necessarily look like we've like overly styled his hair, you know? It just adds us a little bit of a cooler, more in interesting texture. So just looking where that hair wants to go or bend. Tap, tap, tap. If you look towards me a little bit here. Yep, so we got to get this guy. A super simple. Cool, last section here. <clears throat> so coming in again, just creating a little bit of bend in the hair. And then I'm going to go in and detail with some product here. Spin him around a little bit. And I let him air dry because I really wanted to just create, see his own natural texture and blend this in to that texture. All right, so now to just further add texture and some movement, I am gonna use the Dandy, which is a high shine lightweight pomade. Um, I'm not gonna use too, too much. I can always add more product, right? It's pretty difficult to go the other way around. So I'm just gonna emulsify this in my hands. You can see that incredible shine that we get. And then I like to start in the back and work towards the face. So just lightly going from side to side, taking a look at what I'm doing here. Can we see his before too? 
That would be a really good visual for you guys to see what he started out with. So really inspiring, inspired by, you know, that like British kind of UK mod look. Um, you know, just to me, it looks a little bit more intentional than kind of what he came in with. And it's just something that you can offer your, your male customers, you know, to really just give them a little bit more, more of a look. But I love just how soft this is, right? And then if I wanted to add some more separation here, I'm gonna use the Fixer, which is a Stronghold Spray by Subman. I'm just gonna lightly miss that in. I can scrunch it up a little bit. And this is just gonna make sure that this lasts all day or all night, depending on what he's gonna do. Yeah, super cute, right? Awesome. So this is our look for Terry here, really inspired by, you know, the kind of mod scene of the 60s. Um, I used our S-Wave technique with our half-inch uh, styler um, just to really give him a more intentional texture um, and just enhance what he already has. Lovely. Cool. Go ahead and stand up for me. Great. So thank you so much, right. Terry. Awesome, so I wanna thank everyone, especially Marlo Beauty for having me on Facebook Live. I hope you have enjoyed um, the techniques that we did. We showed you a little bit with the Platinum Plus Styler, doing that push down curl. Um, and then we all also used our half inch styler and did some pleating or some S waves. So thank you so much for having me um, and I hope to see you soon.